There are multiple options for a lot of diseases, and these range from open to laparoscopic to robotic technology. Sometimes radiation therapy uh, is in the mix, and the patient is really left uh, largely on their own to make a decision, uh, sometimes based on uh, erroneous information on the web or uh, uh, through marketing endeavors by uh, various uh, uh, entities. And so at Hopkins, I, I think we really take this issue very seriously uh, in an increasing uh, media-biased uh, world, if you will. And uh, we really try to uh, look at the patient specifically and look at all the options, and we typically offer all the options. And uh, while robotic surgery may be ideal for one patient, it may not be ideal for the next, and, uh, and we would then uh, cater the approach to the patient. And ultimately, I think the surgeon and the physician who's taking care of the patient is much more important than the technology that is applied. Uh, but certainly, if it can be done in a less invasive way and it's going to help the patient and cause benefit to the patient, then absolutely there's no reason not to employ that technology. I'm Mohamed Alaf, and I'm Director of Minimally Invasive and Robotic Surgery here at the Brady Urological Institute.